Hello everybody and welcome back to Foot Manager 2022 in the year 2003-2004 for the Man United save and yes you guys have been supporting it very well episode one and episode two have been really really enjoyable uh really enjoyable for if i do say so myself um they've been really well backed loads of comments uh lots of likes excellent let's keep that up please leave a like on the video if you're intro interested and intrigued by this series and yeah you guys have been asking to see quite a lot of players so diving in to the comments which i have on my other screen um yeah vincent company was asked to be looked at. So, Vincent Company, a youngster at uh, Anderlecht, I assume he'll still be at. He is at Anderlecht. There he is. We'll get a scout, rep a scout report on him. Excuse me, I got the hiccups just as I start a video. But, uh, yeah, Vincent Company. How good would it be to change history and sign Vincent Company? Even though he played for Man City, was one of the best centre-backs in the league. I think I can very easily say that. Anthony Van Den Boer as well. I think I looked at him in my uh, free time, let's call it. Let's just put Boer like that. Uh, Anthony Van Den Boer. Oh, no, he doesn't even count when you do that. Anthony Van... Mo there he is. Anthony Van Den Boer. So he is... How old is he at the moment? He's 49. Right, he hasn't been uh, changed correctly in the database, so we won't be signing him. <laughs> Sebastian Schweinsteiger. Sebastian Schwein... Oh, Schwein. Like that, wouldn't it? Seb Sebastian... How do you spell him? Sebastian Seb Astian Schwein. I swear that's how you write his name in it. Sebastian. Sebastian S. Is he not in the game? Schwein Schwein. Schwein. Oh, I keep adding a G on the end. Bast oh, Bastian. He's under Bastian. Swinestone, 19 years old, we'll definitely give him a scout, see if we can pick him up at all, that'd be interesting. Uh, Philip Lahm was another one that was mentioned that you wanted to look at, Philip Lahm, uh, Philip Lahm's still at, that isn't Philip Lahm, nah, that's not, that could be like Philip Lahm, but it's not the Philip Lahm, on loan at Stuttgart, is there two Philip Lahms? There's Christopher Lahm, there's Philip Lahm, I'm going to say that's a incorrect image. To be honest, um, Thiago Motta, Thiago Motta, midfield left at Barcelona, 20 years old. We'll give him a scout. We'll go and see what those scouts say. Akaka we've already looked at, and Iniesta was uh, another one that was mentioned to have a look. Who I think we did look at in the Barcelona squad. Did we look at the Barcelona squad? I'm pretty sure we did. And today it's Iniesta, then a 19-year-old Barcelona central midfielder. Getting the number 10 shirt. I mean, there was loads of them. Loads. Derby. Uh, Joe wanted to go and see the Derby team, so let's have a quick look at Derby County. Uh, who have they got at the moment? Were they in the Prem at this point in 0304? No, they're in the first division. So, Lee Grant in goal. 20-year-old Lee Grant. Not looking too bad, to be honest. Pablo Mills is there. Paul Burton, Richard Jack. Tom Huddleston, a young Tom Huddleston in the team on a youth contract. Lee Morris, Marcus Tudguy up front. Bloody hell, Marcus Tud guy. Jeez. I mean, it's not. It's looking pretty bleak. It's looking pretty bleak in terms of uh, Derby County there. Andy Oaks in goal. Wasn't he ex Sheffield Wednesday? I think he was. Um, I think he was. Right. Who else have we got then? We've got um, Van Bommel, Figo, Nedved. We looked at them. Dario Cerna was one that we wanted to look at. Uh, I was asked to look at at Shakhtar Donetsk. Absolutely superb free kick take. I've already scouted him. Would be a useful signing. 21 years old. Dario Cerna. He is an absolute legend. Look at Spurs. Ross wants us to go and look at Spurs. So let's have a look at... Uh, I, I've literally just sort searched for Spurs, haven't I? Let's go to Tottenham. Oh my God, my spelling is dreadful. Tottenham. Tottenham. There we go. Tottenham, right, Tottenham Hotspur then, Stephen Carr is the key player, wanted, Man City, Newcastle and Juventus, so he's got some big teams interested in him, Stephen Carr, he's looking pretty good, Lars Hirschfeld, Casey Keller, Anthony Gard, Ledley King, the legend that is Ledley King for Spurs people, what could have been if he could have stayed fit, eh, what could have been for Ledley King, uh, Tariko, Gary Doherty, Christian Ziga, Gordon Bujanovic, Bloody hell. Uh, Darren Anderson is still there. Someone mentioned that before, that Darren Anderson might be there. 105 grand a week. Excellent. Darren Anderson is there. 31 years old, Darren Anderson. 
Uh, Rohan Ricketts. This is probably when he was very highly recommended or rated. Rohan Ricketts. He was going to be a good up-and-coming player. Freddie Canute. Robbie Keane, who's got interest in him from Man City and Newcastle as well. So, Robbie Keane looking pretty decent. Gustavo Poyet in midfield. 35-year-old Gustavo Poyet. Uh, Helder Postiga up front. He didn't have a very good time of it at Tottenham, did he? He had a bit of a shocking season. Bobby Zamora, Rebrov out on loan at Fenerbahce. Yeah, not a bad team. Oh, and they've bought in Roland Gusev, because I'm pretty sure he doesn't start there. £2 million for Roland Gusev. Looks like a pretty solid investment, not the quickest of wingers. But, uh, yeah, there you go. That is... is uh, was Stephen Dalmat on loan pre-game, or have they just bought him in on loan? Interesting. Can't remember that one. But, yeah, there you go. Spurs is there as well. Um, Francesco Totti was someone that we wanted to have a look at. Who recommended that? That was uh, Granite. Granite said he wanted to look at Francesco Totti. Oh, my word. Yes, please. Oh, I used to love Francesco Totti. Personality, born leader. Love to see that. Absolutely love to see that. Francesco Totti looks really, really good. That was just the comments from episode one that we've gone through there. So let me now go and find episode two, and we'll go and look at the players that were asked for in that one. Patrice Evra was one that was looked at. Can we use Patrice Evra to go and fill the left-back spot, bring him in from Monaco? That I'm not against that. I'm really not against that. We'll give him a scout report, see what they say. Uh, Paul Dixon says, Liam Miller, brilliant little player for Celtic. Shame that he passed away at such a young age of 36. Is Tijalco in the game? Tijalco. Maxim Tijalco is still in the game. He's got a transfer range to Cruzeiro. He's moving to Brazil. Is uh, Maxim Tijalco. There you go. Finishing 13 to 20. Acceleration technique. Yeah. Shame we couldn't pick him up, actually. Toe Madeira? I'm pretty sure he got out of this game, right? Yeah, yeah. He was only 0-1-0-2, wasn't he? Let's have a look. Freddie Adu. Freddie Adu was, uh, was asked to be looked at in here as well. Freddie Adu. Much to do about nothing. And there he is. Freddie Adu. Listed for loan. Listed for loan. Do we bring Freddie Adu in on loan? That would be impressive. 14 years old. Oh my god, I feel so old. Uh, Cherno Samba. Cherno Samba of uh, 0102 fame. There he is, Cherno Samba. Was he still good in this one? He's still at Millwall. We'll give him a scout. We'll see what the scouts are saying about him. Uh, Metzelda. Christoph Metz... Metz? Was it, is it Metz? There he is. Christoph Metzelda from Borussia Dortmund. 22 years old. Signing whatever the price. He looks absolutely ridiculously good. Um, Carlos Tevez. Carlos Tevez. Is there as well as a player? Yeah, we've looked at him. We've given him a scout, but he won't. He can't move until Christmas. I remember looking at that. Um, Jermaine Defoe, Jermaine Defoe. Surely Jermaine Defoe is in the game. Surely Jermaine Defoe is in the game. Oh, I added an e. Jermaine Defoe wanted by Birmingham Fulham and Olympiacos. Twenty years old. Looks like he's going to be absolutely brilliant in this database. Jermaine Defoe. Wow, okay, yeah, we, well, we've got a scout report on him, so we'll see how that goes. Michael Carrick. I mean, it's just basically bringing in people that Man United signed at one point, right? Michael Carrick. Yeah, that. I mean, look how good he looks in the West Ham young player, 22. Oh, my word, this is absolutely amazing. Um, and then, finally, someone asked, and I'm surprised this didn't happen earlier, Leo Messi. And there he is, a 16-year-old Lionel Messi at Barcelona in the under-19s. And he already looks incredible. Strength, 1. Stamina, 9. Jumping reach, 1. Leadership, 1. Long throws, 1. Heading, 5. Oh, my word. But there you go. That was everyone's recommendations to go and look at. And if you've got more people you want to come and see, just leave them in the comments and uh, we will go and look at them when I get a chance to do the next video. Right, um, so updates. What have we done? In, 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 in essence, not very much at all. Uh, we've bought in Patrick Cliver. We've bought in Rio, Cos Rio, Rio, Rio Costa. Rio Costa. Uh, Owen Hargreaves and Cristiano Ronaldo obviously joined before the game was set up. Phil Neville has been sold to Barcelona for £25 million. He has gone, old Phil Neville, which has left us short of fullbacks. Uh, we have a bad... Uh, well, we're, we're trying to get Barcelona to bid for Nicky Butt with a little cheeky part exchange in there. But 
at the moment, yeah, we've not uh, we've not really progressed any more. And as we go into the first day of the season against Wolverhampton Wanderers, I think we are going to have to look at potentially bringing in some more players. And I'm not afraid in splashing the cash and putting it over numbers and numbers of years. So we still have £65 million to spend. We have 300 grand roughly in the wage budget. Let's go ahead and potentially buy someone, hey? Okay, so the first player maybe coming in is Patrice Evra. I really like the idea of bringing him in. Uh, so let's... He wants to be a regular starter. Okay, we'll put you as a regular starter, mate. Let's see if we can get your wage down a little bit. 80 grand, I think. We're not going to give you a yearly wage rise. Uh, so you that. No, you're not going to get a yearly wage rise. We'll give you 82. How about 82, Patrice? Come on. For the love of the game. You love the game. There we go. Patrice Evra. The other one I was really excited about was uh, Vidic as well. I'm, I'm intrigued to see if we can get... Vidic, and again, he wants to be a regular starter. Um, current average salary for regular starters is 130 grand a week. I think you'd be more of a squad player, probably more of an impact sub in your first few seasons. We might be messing this up. I just don't think he's going to, yeah, he's not going to start for us. So, ah, that's annoying, isn't it? Because he won't start. I don't think he would start. So, uh, maybe he would. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll leave the man your midgets for now. It looks like Patrice Everett is going to be joining, which covers us at left back, which is good. Um, I mean, what outstanding right backs were there in this era of 03-04? Yeah, I'm not sure. So I think, let, let me know down below. Right backs in 2004 that isn't Cafu, because he's the only one I can really think of. Yeah, not too sure about that. Right, Barcelona want 27.5 million and Nicky Butt for Xavi. I, and I probably would have done that if we had £27.5 million pounds to spare. Lots of scout reports coming in. Simao in there. Andy Johnson from Chris Potter. Peter Crouch I've been scouting as well. Uh, Stelios Venitez from Olympiacos. Uh, we're about to make our managerial debut against Wolves, uh, but we will send our assistant to go and deal with that, who I think is Walter Smith, I think is our uh, assistant right now. But yeah, so a few... we got hopefully Patrice Ever is going to be joining relatively soon. Um... We just need to make sure that we can, yeah, get, you know, get this. Get some, it's a very small squad. I'm fully aware this is a very small squad. Barcelona do still want Nicky Butt. I can't see. Why wouldn't you pay 50 million for Nicky Butt? Like, come on, splash the cash. Right then, here we go. Picking our first ever lineup for the Premier League. It's going to be Bartes starting in goal. We can't move him on. We might as well play him. Gary Neville is going to start at the back in front or next to him will be Wes Brown and John O'Shea, I think, which is going to leave us pretty short at left back. And we're going to call up Paul Tierney is going to come in, although he's knackered. Paul Tierney's knackered. He's just played for the under-23, so maybe... Is Owen Hargreaves going to make his debut at centre-back? I think he is. It's going to be Owen Hargreaves as the ball player. John O'Shea at left-back. In front of them will be Roy Keane. The deep-line playmaker is going to be Paul Scholes in this one. On the left-hand side will be Quinton Fortune because Ryan Giggs is injured. Attacking midfield, Rui Costa. On the right, we're going to start Solskjaer. And through the middle will be Ruud van Nistrooy. Now, where is Patrick Clivert? Oh, he's just unregistered. I was going to say, that's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Um, let's just quickly register Patrick Cliver. Can't believe I didn't do that on the at the first bit. Registration. Patrick Cliver. Get him in. Yes, thank you. Otherwise, that would have been very, very silly. So, I was suddenly like, why can't I put Patrick Cliver on the bench? This is a real concern. So, Cliver, Forlan, Ronaldo, Jemba Jemba, Nicky Butt, Cleberson, Tim Howard. Two spaces left, which is going to have to be... I mean, this just goes to show how short of defenders we are. Um, Paul McShane and Paul Tien. We're short of defenders across all of our squads. What is going on? What is going on? But there we go. Uh, I've got those two the wrong way around. Costa on, in the attacking midfield. Solskjaer there. Van Nistrooy up front sort of on his own. Let's have a look. Right, Paul Tierney. You can get a very high squad number because, you know, you're not... Well, well I say you're not going to play that much at the moment. You're one of two potential left backs we've got at the club so let's see how that goes so wolves lining up matt murray okoronko crad craddock lescott dennis Irwin, lee naylor paul lintz colin cameron henry cameron mark candy and kenny miller uh interesting yeah interesting paul lintz and dennis Irwin against their former club right point the finger we're the favorites go out there and get a win like rui costa 
is technically the only new signing, I think, isn't it? It's a big day. It is a big day, but we'll be totally fine. Ah, if anyone's noticed as well, in my little manager avatar thing, I've given myself long hair. Not that I had long hair in 0304, but I did have long hair um, for a time when I was at university. So, yeah, that's why. Rui Costa with the corner, swings it in. Wes Brown, it's our oh, Van Nistelrooy! It's being checked for offside because VAR was a thing, apparently, in 0304. But I think he's onside. Where's Brown had a header? The rebound just fell straight to Rude's feet. And that poacher is given the goal. And it's a fantastic start to life as Man United manager. Where's Brown with a superb header? Murray with a good save. And Van Nistroy is just on hand to poke that one home from close range. 1 0. So it's going to be Bartes. Oh, no, it's a free kick. Sorry, I thought it was going back to Bartes. Where's Brown? Up to Skulls. Ball through to Quinton Fortune. Loads of space for Quinton Fortune. Dinks it across. Rui Costa is 2-0. And Rui Costa gets a goal on his debut in front of Old Trafford. What a start for him. Wolves are sinking without a trace. Nine minutes gone. And uh, we find ourselves... Two -nil. What a ball from Paul Scholes that is. Quinton Fortune got into a bit of space. Just cut it back to Rui Costa, who fires it home on the left foot. And he's uh, looking good value for money. 12 shots to none. We are absolutely battering Wolves right now. Rui Costa, free kick. Around the wall, it's hit the post. Rui Costa nearly having a brace in the first 20 minutes of his home debut. Or his debut for Man United. Gary Neville, up the line to Solskjaer. Who was a bit of an odd choice picking over Ronaldo today, but I just thought we'd go with the a bit more of the experience against a uh, what will be a magic I imagine a physical Wolves team. Lescott forced all the way back to Murray. Murray to Okranoku. Okranoku? I don't know how you pronounce that. Murray goes long looking for Dennis Irwin. John O'Shea wins the header. Roy Keane. And Dennis Irwin pushed so far up that Quinton Fortune has loads of space to run into. He gives it back to Rui Costa on the edge. Into Van Nistelrooy. And that's his second goal of the season. His second goal of the game. And Rui Costa has a goal and assist. Van Nistelrooy has two goals. This is coming up amazing. His 50th goal for Man United, that said. As uh, Quinton Fortune, again, getting into a lot of space on that left-hand side. Cut it back to Rui Costa. Lovely little reverse pass back heel. And Rude Van Nistelrooy makes it 3-0 inside 20 minutes. We are flying. John O'Shea with a throw-in. Roy Keane into Quinton Fortune. Back to John O'Shea. John O'Shea just holds on to the ball. Hargreaves in that centre-back role, which I don't think he imagined he'd be playing when he joined the club. Costa. Up to Quinton Fortune again. And Van Istroy has made a run in front of him. Van Istroy holds it up. Picks out Skulls. Quinton Fortune. Fortune. Solskjaer. Through to Van Istroy. Oh, he's missed. It could have been a hat-trick inside 20 minutes. 19 minutes and 45 seconds gone. 3-0 Man United. And Wolves are rubbish. Officially now. Officially. Free kick. Rui Costa is going to be over it again. Will he go for goal this time? There's a big space on that side. And he has. And he's hit the post, I think. No, Matt Murray made a great save. According to the commentary, Skulls. Back out to Rui Costa. Rui Costa tries to get to the byline. And he's won a corner. So we'll take that. 43. Just minutes gone. We're uh, just coming up to half time. Rui Costa with the corner. Swings it in. Where's Brown with the header? It's four. It's four in the first half. And Old Trafford will be going absolutely crazy. Rui Costa, two assists and a goal. And where's Brown with a bullet header there? Oh, bosh. I mean, imagine Vidic getting on the... Own. I mean, Rui Costa's got set pieces 20, right? He's got corners and free kicks 20. So he's going to be bloody brilliant. Naylor with a throw in. Up to Kennedy. Back to Naylor. And you've got to imagine the Wolves manager. I can't, is it Dave Jones now? Is it Mick McCarthy? I can't remember who it is. Ince out to Henri Camara. Henri Camara looks for Dennis Irwin, who's, uh, you know, he's like 40. He's not really going to outrun Quinton Fortune. Ince, Irwin. Back to Ince. The ex-Man United players linking up. Paul Ince will not be happy with this result. You can tell that. The governor would not be happy. There's a Cameron into Kenny Miller. Kennedy, there's a big overlap on the left where this is the thing. We don't ask Solskjaer to come and defend on this right-hand side. Lee Naylor. Can he put a cross in? He does. Kenny Miller brings it down. Knocks it back to Kennedy. Ball across and John O'Shea will head that one away. Paul Ince will keep it alive. Jeff Cameron into Kennedy. Here's Naylor again. Plenty of space. Back into Kennedy. Bartes went walkabout. And Mark Kennedy scores for Wolves. It's 4-1. And that's the problem with Fabian Bartes, isn't it? He came out wandering out into like the penalty spot area. And uh, completely misjudged the pass. Kennedy into Naylor. It was a good little one too. But where's Bartes going? I've got no idea. Dives for the ball, doesn't get it. 4-1. It's not a clean sheet, but that means no clean sheet bonuses because I can't imagine we're going to lose this game. There we go. What a first half of football that is. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, what, 45 minutes? You've completely blown them away. 
Superb. Absolutely superb. Second half underway. It's uh, Onkanokwu who's on the ball. Back to Jody Craig. Paul Lintz. All the way back to his goalkeeper, Matt Murray. Back out to Craddock again. Onkanokwu takes it forward. Goes long. Irwin beaten in the air by John O'Shea. Quinton Fortune. He's, got, he's had a good first half, Quinton Fortune. Can he repeat it? Ball in towards the back post. Solskjaer misses the header. And Kennedy gets that one up to Kenny Miller. Wes Brown keeps it alive. Keane. Van Nistelrooy. He's got, he's, he's Rui Costa. Rounds to Solskjaer. Great save from the keeper, to be fair. Corner ball then. Rui Costa is over it. Swings this one in. Wes Brown's there again. And uh, it goes past the post. And, well, 23 shots to one. 12 on target to one. We are battering them. Murray takes it short to Okranokwu from the goal kick. He goes into Paul Lintz. Wolves trying to play out from the back. I mean, got to give them credit. They've not just been hoofing it long all the time. As uh, Onkroku might do that now, though, because he's under a bit of pressure. Back to Murray. He does go long looking for Kenny Miller. And uh, he beats... Yeah, he, he'll, he should beat Owen Hargreaves in the air. That's our only downfall at the moment. Dennis Irwin on this right-hand side. Ball in. Miller! Oh, he's hit the bar. Fantastic effort from Kenny Miller. Fabian Bartes probably was beaten. I think we're just going to make a quick change here. With an hour gone, we're going to say Owen Hargreaves off. We're going to bring on the youngster, youngster Paul McShane, um, and have an actual centre-back at centre-back, I think would be better than Owen Hargreaves. Free kick. Rui Costa swings it in. Matt Murray just picks it out of the air really well. We'd sent a lot of people forward for that. We're still attacking as uh, Murray just holds on to the ball for a long, long time. We aren't really... Letting him play out from the back too much. He's gone up towards Kenny Miller. Knocks that one down to Henry Camera. Through to Kenny Miller. Got the wrong shot. McShane and Bartes. What a save that is. He may be eccentric and he was at fault for the first goal. But what a save that is from Kenny Miller. And Wolves are just starting to get back into this game now. Kennedy. In it goes. Drifts the corner in. Wes Brown heads it away. He's had a great game at the back as well. Kamara. Back to Kennedy. Kennedy could probably swing this cross in. But he's offside. 65 minutes gone. 4-1 up. Okoronkwo puts it in. Paul Ince. Back to Craddock. It's been all... We've, we've, we've eased off a little bit here. Okranok grew. Go back to Craddock again. All the way back to Matt Murray. Matt Murray being pressured a little bit by Rui Costa, which rushes his pass. Neville picks it up. Gary Neville into Paul Scholes. Back to Neville. Just holding on to the ball. Wes Brown. Wes Brown just brings it out from the back. I don't mind this. Loads of space for Wes Brown to go into. Picks out Rui Costa. Rui Costa through. Quinton Fortune. Quinton Fortune's through. Good save from Matt Murray. Solskjaer can't pass on pounce on the rebound. Yeah. We're playing we're playing well. I don't really want to take anyone off. I don't think anyone's knackered that much. Uh, could do Solskjaer for Ronaldo, but I think with five minutes to go, we'll just see this one through. John O'Shea, jo Jody Craddock wins the header. Here's Jeff Cameron. John O'Shea, what a tackle that is. Van Nistelrooy turns his man. Van Nistelrooy is on a hat-trick, fires it across, and Lescott, calm and composed, just deals with it at the back post as Stefan Everson's tackled by John O'Shea. Paul McShane into Skulls. Wes Brown out to Neville. Neville into Skulls, looks up for Solskjaer, but can't quite get it right. Ints, good Johnson. Cameron. Jeff Cameron goes back to Onkronokwu. Uh, Matt Murray. And there is four minutes to go. Murray goes long towards Stefan Everson. Paul McShane wins the header. Jono Shea gets there first. Rui Costa. Great ball out to the right-hand side. Can Solskjaer keep that one in? Yes, he can. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Back to Rui Costa. Header in it goes. Van Nistelrooy! Is he onside? He looked offside. It was for the hat-trick. He sort of flicked it on in front of Matt Murray, who again pulled out a fantastic save. Has Van Nistelrooy got the hat-trick? It's being checked. Yes, he has. Van Nistelrooy gets the hat-trick on the opening day of the season. On the fifth, well, 85th, 86th minute. And Solskjaer into Rui Costa. It just flicked on. And Van Nistelrooy got a touch on it. Good save from Murray. And then a left-footed finish. Fires it home from close range again. Classic Van Nistelrooy poaching there. 5-1. We have absolutely demolished Wolves here. And to be honest, I'm happy scoring five. I don't mind conceding one because it just doesn't do clean sheet bonuses. Rui Costa, a perfect 10 on his debut. Unbelievable scenes. You love, love to see it. A very nice victory. Well done, everyone. Cliver has to wait for his debut. Cristiano Ronaldo has to wait for his debut. And uh, yeah, what a performance that is. Lovely. Top of the table. Thank you very much. And Arsenal beat Spurs 4-0 or 5-1. I'm going to say 4-0. 4-0. Thierry Henry hat-trick. Dennis Bergkamp gets one. So Van Nistelrooy and Henry both getting opening day hat-tricks. As did Marcus Bent. There's someone I've not thought of in a long, long time. Marcus Bent on loan from Ipswich at Leicester. There you go. Bloody hell. And Rui Costa. 
You are at your creative best, sir. What a debut. So just looking around the league then, these are the transfers that have happened so far. Hargreaves, obviously, to us. Rui Costa to us. Phil Neville to Barcelona and Patrick Cliver. From, that was basically a player exchange, wasn't it? I've just noticed that. Barcelona, Phil Neville for Patrick Cliver. Uh, Michael Ball has moved from Rangers to Liverpool for 13.25 million. Damian Johnson has moved from Birmingham to Everton for 7 million with a part exchange in there. Roland Gusev, as we saw before, CSK Moscow to Tottenham for 2 million. Clarence Acuna, Newcastle to Houston Dynamo, 1.6. Uh, Fred, Fred has moved to. F oh, it's the target man, Fred, from Brazil. Right, well, he's moved to, uh, to Fulham. Christopher Anderson, Stan Lazaridis has moved to Turkey. Andreas Stolzars has moved from Fulham to Alaves. Brett Ormrod has moved to America. Tim Dittmer, Richard Hughes, Richie Partridge to Crystal Palace. Oliver Leonardson on a free transfer to Charlton. Arthur Newman, free transfer to Arsenal. He would have been a good little left back to bring in, to be honest, although he's a little bit older. And then a number of loan deals have happened. James Milner to Preston. Uh, Florence Cinnamon Pongol to Sheffield United. David Bentley to Cardiff. Bo's My Hill to Luton. Yeah, unbelievable stuff. Some some good names popping up there. Some very good, interesting names. Right, we're going to leave it there. I think for the next episode, we might do it in a slightly different format. I'm not too sure. It depends what we come back for. But I'm, tr I'm thinking about making it more of a sort of a highlights package rather than me commentating over the top. But we'll see how it goes. Let me know down below uh, what you think of the series. Who else would you like me to go and look at? What an opening day to the season. A 5-1 win. Rude Van Nistelrooy getting a hat-trick. Rui Costa getting a man of the match and a perfect 10 performance. You absolutely love to see it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.